Hello guys, welcome to Startpad Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about calculating the frequency of an RCC building in both X and Z directions using Rally method. So initially, we will construct an RCC building. So let us go to Start Pro. Select New Project. Select Space. Give Name. Needs will be Meter and Kilonewton. Select Next. Select Finish. Go to Geometry, select Unstructural Wizard, select Frame Models, select B Frame, View Length, twenty four, six base, height will be three, number of base will be one, coming to width twenty four and 6 select apply transfer this model to main start pro screen now that you have transferred we can select define rectangle select 0.4 by 0.4 for columns and 0.3 by 0.3 for beams Assign 0.4 by 0.4 for columns. Now assign 0.3 by 0.3 for beams. Now that you have assigned the property, you can go to translational repeat. Before that, you need to select the entire structure. Go to translational repeat. Select number of steps as. 8 story building or else 6 story building default spacing is 3 in y direction select ok now go to support select front view select create support fixed support assign the support to bottom nodes well in order to calculate the frequency in both x and z direction so we will go to loads and definitions select load case 1 then load case 2 select load case 1 for x direction and load case 2 for z direction so select load case 1 select add first will be self weight in positive x direction factor will be positive 1 select add coming to floor load it will be 6 kN per meter square in the range of 3 to 21 meters for roof also we are applying 6 kN per meter square in global y direction select add then you need to add Rally frequency so go to frequency select rally frequency select add but you need to add rally frequency once we assign the loads select the entire structure assign to the entire structure now select load case 1 select add select frequency rally frequency select add close you have added rally frequency now go to load case 2 actually one thing is you done is you delete this rally frequency go to floor load select edit you need it in global x direction select change close now you add rally frequency then go to load case 2 select add self weight positive 1 in z direction floor load 3 
in global z direction in the range of 3 to 21 meters up to the top floor now assign self weight to the entire structure then add rally frequency once you have finished this you can go to analysis and print select add close analyze run analysis So once we are done we go to output file and we scroll down to the end of the page where you can see the rally frequency for x direction is 0.68997 cycles per second deflection is given it is at joint 365 and for z direction it is in this way so in this way we can determine the frequency for the loading conditions in the next class we will be discussing using another method eigen value extraction method so this is the end of the session do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.